Hi guys, Brian here, and welcome to a build video. I don't haven't done one of these in a while, because honestly, I feel like a lot of builds in DBD are just kind of figured out. And a lot of the re only reason that people go for certain builds is because of their effectiveness. When people usually go online to look up a build, they're not looking up, like... They're looking up builds to succeed, which is, you know, what I already covered in that rank one mindset video uh, that I'm totally not a fan of. <laughs> but uh, the builds I like to make are goofy ones, uh, ones that are just weird. And this one's a really funny, weird one that I had a good time with, and I want to recommend it to you guys as well. So essentially, the point of this build is we've all been in the situation where we've been playing against a Huntress as Survivor, and we'll hear her lullaby, so we'll know she's vaguely nearby. But what we're going to do is we're going to stack on perks and add-ons that make that situation of, I know she's nearby, but I don't quite know where, and make it worse and worse and worse to the point where somehow a character with a lullaby can sneak up on people and get value out of sneaking up on people, which does not make sense, but it's funny when it happens. <laughs> so first off, uh, we're going to be uh, going for uh, Hysteria. Hysteria did not used to be good uh, with any character going for any sort of like obliviousness because it used to be very, very restrictive. But now it's whenever a survivor is injured by any means. So now this includes the Huntress Hatchets. So obliviousness, if you don't know, uh, prevents you from hearing the terror radius up until the point that you actually are in chase. So all they will hear the lullaby. You could be right next to them and they're just still hearing the lullaby until you actually enter a chase with them as long as you have injured them uh, prior to this. So that is already applying them this idea of, oh, well, I hear the lullaby, so she's vaguely nearby. But I don't know where she is. I do not know where she is. And this is really, really helpful because this is all injured survivors, not just the ones you have injured. So if you know multiple survivors are nearby, you'll be able to split off and go pressure somebody else who may not know you're there. I'm pretty sure I do that at least once or twice in this match that I'm going to show you in an example. So Hysteria is actually pretty good for this build, at least in terms of, you know, messing with the idea that lullaby is kind of weird probably the biggest uh sort of like you know uh, stealth build uh, perk for any character that doesn't come with stealth based kit is always hex play thing. Hex play thing is when you hook someone, uh, they become cursed, which, which then gives them the oblivious status effect until they get rid of the totem tied to it. So uh, this is really, really good uh, because obviously it gives that oblivious status effect that we've been looking for that we already are applying with hysteria. These two work in good tandem because uh, play thing makes them oblivious if you fuck them and people you haven't hooked are getting obliviousness because of hysteria so essentially you're you have double coverage on making sure that people are obliviousness are oblivious as much as possible as much as possible it also serves as this weird sort of like slowdown because people will be wanting to get rid of their obliviousness so they have to spend time cleansing totems to get rid of those so it's kind of like the weird only like kind of like slowdown aspect to this build which does help Nurse's Calling is a good uh, addition to this build because the whole point of this, like I said, is to capitalize on people not quite being able to pinpoint where you are, just knowing you're kind of nearby because of your lullaby, but not knowing where you are. So if they start healing, that obviously that aura is going to be revealed to you and you can go chase them down and they don't know where you're coming from because they can't hear you. <laughs> they can't hear the terror radius, but you know where exactly where they are if they are healing up. So you can take advantage of them not knowing. And I and that does work. That does work in this match. It's very funny. RBU is just here for the bug points, but you can throw anything in there in that regard. You can throw a slowdown there to make sure you're getting more value and not having people rush out of the match. Or you could stack on uh, other fun perks. I think a good perk that would be uh, great to run here instead of barbecue if you're not too interested in blood points or having any sort of uh, extra slowdown would be uh, Hex Retribution. As soon as I can grab it here, Where's, where are you, Hex Retribution? There you are. Hex Retribution would be good for this because uh, whenever somebody, so you're forcing people to go cleanse your totem with plaything, and Retribution is whenever a clone's uh, totem is cleansed, you're getting you're getting the uh, aura reading for 15 seconds, as well as more obliviousness on top of it. So if you really want to go full hard stealth, I would actually throw on uh, Hex Retribution here because you get the aura reading, which helps you capitalize on your stealth, and it adds more obliviousness, and it gives you aura reading, so it kind of fits really, really well. 
with this whole setup here. It really does go well. As for the add-ons, my add-ons are kind of weird here. There's probably <laughs> better ones to pick, <laughs> but like I, I just I just had a lot of fun using these. Uh, Wooden Fox is probably Huntress's most useless add-on because as you reload, you get 30 seconds of undetectable. Once again, like I said, that is the the point of the said video <laughs> or said, point of said build is to mess with them by removing your terror radius constantly and having them only rely on the lullaby to find you. Obviously, if you're undetectable for 30 seconds this is making that even worse now this one this one comes down to mostly personal preference um but i, I i'm gonna narrow it down to three three uh, add-ons i think you could use here very very well um i i like core stone because once again uh it's about giving you the advantage and tracking them but they don't have the advantage in knowing where you are core stone uh ups ups the volume of their injured grunts uh, by 50%, so you can hear them from farther away and sneak up on them from farther away. You could also do the uh, the uh, mushroom toxin, which gives blindness for 60 seconds, once again, hampering their senses while increasing yours. Or you could go all the way with this and do glowing concoction, which reveals the auras of survivors hit by hatches for five seconds. So you can hit somebody, have them try to run away from you. And if you're on an indoor map or like the example in the match I'm showing up, I'm on uh, Coldwind, where there's a lot of tall hay, hay bales to hide behind. You can like really mess with people on where you're going and what you're doing and uh, follow up with another hatchet. For this build, I would recommend a uh, a map that is either indoor or has a lot of spaces to hide behind. Something like Larry's, Midwitch, not RPD, because nobody's going on RPD, and I will I will stand by that. But like this match that I am, I am doing my example on, uh, I'm actually on Coldwind, because I actually don't use a map offering. It actually works out really well, because New Coldwind has these really, really tall hay bales, like literally everywhere, which is really painful usually for Huntress. But for the purpose of hiding myself, it was actually pretty helpful, and you can see me get a lot of value for that. Uh, in the video so even then like something like holding with like the corn stalks and the hay bales couldn't be helpful to you but yeah obviously i feel like the best value would be uh an indoor map so yeah so that's the build uh it's kind of a goofy build it's a meme build that's meant to just like be weird and be funny and do something shocking that survivors won't see coming and i it it, it works out very very strangely in the uh match that i'm going to show you so hopefully you enjoy the match friends uh enjoy this build or don't i don't know i can't force you to do things <laughs> but uh thank you so much for watching and i will see you at the end torment crick maybe the corn will help me here maybe i'll be stealthy because of the corn and give me strength there's also a lot of tall hay bales this might actually not be too bad like i'm being straight up where do they spawn yeah where did they where do they spawn <laughs> I checked almost every gen. Are they at Shack? Are they? Did they all spawn at Shack? I feel like Shack gen is just about to pop, and we're just gonna be like, "Well, shit." Okay, they're on this one at least. Hi. <laughs> He didn't blub blub he just kept walking! The man doesn't care about his own life! He literally just fucking- he just said, I'm good. That went through you. I saw that go through your leg. Where- what- I- I thought- I thought she had beach ball hitboxes. I just saw that go straight through his leg. What in the actual fuck? Like, I, I, I cropped him in the leg, and I was like, okay, he's good. And then he kept walking. I was like, wait, what? Like, I make that joke. It's like, oh, well, it's just, uh, it's just bad ping. But, like, is there, like, more to that than just the joke? Okay, I'm gonna hide around some hay bales here. Sorry, I'm gonna have to read that in a second, Toto. Yeah, he's like, what? These guys don't dodge. It's really weird. Yeah, like I said, guys don't dodge. They're good at doing gens, though. And I guess that's all that matters. That's all the MMR cares about, is can they do gens? Alright, 
Yeah, I'll actually have to read that later. I'm trying to. Something's messing with the machine with the ultrasound? You're having to like redo stuff? But yeah, she's they certainly didn't know I was here. Oh! oh! Oh my god, I don't demand this often, but can we please clip the through the ladder in the face shot? Like, oh my god. That was, that was dirty. That was nasty. That was, that was disgusting. Once again, kind of went through her face there, but as you do. Okay. No beach ball hicks boxes for me. Everybody else gets beach ball. I do not get beach ball. <laughs> Just wiggle your mouse, call it a day. I hate gamers like this that just like don't dodge the same way literally fucking ever for any fucking reason. Like so frustrating. Like geez oh Pete's. Threw the ladder into her face. Yeah, that was something else. That was scary. Okay, so they're plowing a gen at the back of the map. Yeah, no way I was stopping that. I'm trying to like, kind of like, tuck behind hay bales and stuff, so I'm kind of like... It's not very obvious where I am. I'm kind of 3-genning. Yeah, honestly. Oh. We can get a play thing going though. We're going basement. Okay, somebody is unoblivious, which is good for them. Just got the trammy player? That's so funny. We just start blasting through the ground like that. It's very fun. Okay. They all healed up. I'm not going to defend that, because honestly, if they do that, they're 3-genning. So you can have that, Jen. He just showed himself a little early. Oh my god, <laughs> my shots are kind of cracked right now. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hundreds OP, please nerf. I'm a, I am a doing things. I'm hitting hatches. I have no right to hit. Is 
she in that fucking locker? He is. <laughs> that triggered Wooden Fox again. <laughs> so I got my undetectable back. Christmas tree. Wow. I hit that pig too. What? It, what is wrong with me? <laughs> well, that was fun. That was a pretty cool match. That was pretty fun. I liked that a lot. <laughs> All right, so that was my stealthy uh, Huntress build. Did you like it, friends? Let me know down in the comments down below. And I uh, will see you in tomorrow's video. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you, friends. Goodbye.